Well, it appears some support staff members of Canadian e-commerce giant Shopify went rogue, stealing customer information. For more on this, let's bring in business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton. Good morning, Tyler. So the company has revealed two of its own were behind that recent data breach. What are we hearing about this? Well, they're already confirming that they've gone to the FBI with their concerns. And the issue is that these employees were allegedly targeting information from about 200 merchants. So we're talking about information from customers such as their name, email address, as well as potential things like order details, like the services and products that were being purchased. But it does not appear, at least at this point, that any of financial data like credit card numbers were involved. Now, Shopify, of course, has benefited from a surge in online sales resulting from the pandemic, and it seems unlikely that this will shake customer loyalty. The breach wasn't a result of a technical vulnerability, but as you said, rogue employees, allegedly. And so far, shares on the stock market really aren't taking a hit at this point, and the Ottawa-based company says it has already terminated the employees alleged to have been involved. All right, Tyler, let's shift gears now to Lush Cosmetics because it is wanting to dissolve its Canadian arm amid allegations of mismanagement. What's the latest on that? Yeah, it's a bit of a messy issue right here, but the parent organization is accusing the Vancouver-based partner of, as you say, financial mismanagement of both the Canadian and U.S. operations, as well as becoming, say, increasingly difficult to work with and rejecting brand decisions from the head office. Now, Mark Wolverton, he helped launch Lush in North America 25 years ago. He says he rejects the allegations and believes it really relates to what amounts to a shareholder disputes, not the actual financial viability of the company, in which we do see some entanglements between both the U.S. and Canadian operations. But Wolverton did acknowledge that there have been substantial store closures and layoffs during the pandemic. What we're seeing right now is a tough road ahead for many big brands. A lawsuit like this during a pandemic not really helping uh, the Lush brand moving forward based here in Canada. Certainly not. All right. Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton joining us this morning. Tyler, thank you as always. Thank you, Nidu.